I grew up in my, uh, my hometown just north of Austin uh, called uh, Cedar Park. When I was young, my dad was in the Air Force and I knew that I wanted to serve my country. I was an adrenaline junkie. I wanted to uh, be Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon dodging the asteroid field. I went to the University of Texas at Austin. I'm just a Texas girl through and through. And then I uh, went off into the military in the beginning of 2000. I went to pilot training with the Air National Guard. I became a combat rescue pilot for seven years. Helicopter pilot Major Mary Jennings Hagar and her crew were shot down by the Taliban in 2009 during a rescue mission outside Kandahar, Afghanistan. Despite her wounds, she fought back and saved the lives of her crew and patients. Major Hagar earned a Purple Heart. She became the second woman ever to receive a Distinguished Flying Cross with valor for her heroism. And a lot of people spend their whole careers wondering how they're gonna act when something like that happens, and I just wanted to make sure that I responded and behaved in a way that honored my family and my service. My father was in the military, honored his service, and wanted to get all of my, my brothers and sisters out alive. Major Hagar continued fighting after she returned home and she joined a lawsuit against a long-standing rule that barred women from ground combat positions. My gender has never been a factor in accomplishing my unit's mission, and it should not be a factor when selecting personnel to serve in combat roles. I'm actually running for Congress and setting an example for my kids, and I was just incredibly proud that I'm raising my children to stand up to bullies and to stand up for what they believe in and to not be silenced and to voice their opinion and be heard. Hopefully next as we go to D.C. and make some real change and um, fight for marginalized communities and, and uh, do what we can to protect the progress that we've made in this country toward being a beacon of freedom and democracy for the world. So in the Air Force, we have three core values, integrity first, excellence in all we do, and service before self. And to me, service has always meant placing others before yourself. And I think that the Red Cross um, embodies that as well. I've, I've encountered the Red Cross uh, several times throughout my military career. Once would be when I was uh, evacuating people off of rooftops during hurricanes. Um, and then in my first tour in Afghanistan, I had a family emergency that the Red Cross helped facilitate get me home. To be honored by an organization like the Red Cross that I hold in such high esteem is very humbling. I just really have a great, deep appreciation for the Red Cross, for the service that they uh, provide not only to the country, but to the military.